Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your uh, general love reading for May, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Guys feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is timestamp, uh, so if you click in the uh, description bar below you'll see where it says start reading click on that and that will bring you to the start of the reading this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera okay as i always say please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't and if this isn't your story if i don't pick up on your story stick around as sometimes you know, sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Uh, because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just finish laying these cards. I always say, let the cards fall where they may. It's meant to be, it's meant to be. Why disrupt the flow? <laughs> the natural order of things. Okay, all right. So I'm just going to take these in. And uh, I'll be back. So it's how to cherish so I start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So this is, we're going to touch on the past first and foremost, because there definitely was some form of standoff. Uh, and when I say standoff, I mean, I'm not calling you. You're not calling me. Who's going to reach out first? I'm not going to do it. You're not going to do it. That type of thing. It's more this standoff type of uh, situation that you had going on in the past. You did reach out though with the eight of cups sorry the eight of wands so you reached out to this person because there was some form of maybe realization or an epiphany that happened for you that caused you to want to reach out to this person and I don't feel like it was a mistake either because this person unbeknownst to you definitely was seeing you as someone that they could yeah you reached out um they definitely seen you as someone where they've got love on the mind, so you're this, you're someone that they can potentially have that loving relationship with. But there is this containing the inner beef, beast, this strength card there. So it's like, yeah, I'm feeling this, or I'm thinking of this person in this way, uh, or I'm potentially starting to see this person in this way, but I'm containing that. I'm holding that in. I'm going to put a kind of uh, lid on that, not not let that bubble up too much for now but yeah so you're the one that reached out because I feel like there was definitely this awareness of if you didn't then you know things you know they wouldn't have done it so it's like okay so let me reach out to this person before we have this towel moment where we're unable to resolve this or we're unable to you know get it back on track you know which makes sense which makes sense which brings us to where we are at the moment. So there's still, there's, there seems to be tension. There seems to be tension here. And that's coming from a place of this person not opening up. It's like they keep things to their self, showing up as the four of coins. It's like they keep things to their self. They don't open up too much. Um, and no matter how much you try, feel like there was something that maybe you wanted to discuss or deal with and and you know there was just no breakthrough there was just no breakthrough so I feel like you had no choice even if that's emotionally to start kind of moving away from this moving away from this it's like it's not working out is it ever going to work out um, for some of you you kind of left things unsaid as well you've not been or you've not had the opportunity to kind of really reveal to this person you know have the full conversation let's say that so your focus is on this moving forward, moving ahead, moving out of this. 
but your challenge is that page of cups which talks about risk taking a risk that's in your challenge though and we're going to get back to the get back to that in a minute because it, it's going to make sense based on where where they're at like i said this person you know not opening up not being so open keeping things to their self however they are thinking about that hyphen which is that high commitment commitment with you commitment with you their challenge is is the sun you know whether you're able to whether you're going to be whether you're going to have a positive impact in their life in some way shape you know in some way shape or form whatever makes sense to them but it's this positive impact in their world it's like it's like i'm not going to be I'm not going to be open with you if I don't feel like you're going to take care of what it is that I'm giving you, which is me and, you know, that space within me that I no longer or I don't often share with people. This person is just, it's like maybe this person is also come from a place of just, and this might just be their character. They're not the type to just open up like that. So if they do, you you know, they see you in a certain way, you now have a, posi a position, a posi if I can speak, a position in their life um, where you know you're you should be honored let's say that because they don't often do that and that's why we're going back to this risk being in your challenge it's you not willing to take that risk with this person and not to say that you know what's going on because i'm sure if you did now you do if this is resonating with you um and if it's not of course you guys can still check out your um other readings for your month sagittarius which should be pinned up in the corner as we speak. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not taking the risk on that. Because if you knew, then you would. Now you do. But, you know, that's your challenge. And that's why it's in your challenge position. Because it's like, okay, you should, you know, hold your horses a little bit. Uh, let's focus in on why this person could be so closed Yes, I know you've attempted to have a conversation with them, but let's look and see what they're wanting. They're wanting an emotional connection. They're wanting to open up to someone. They're wanting to have a, a strong emotional bond, but they still have things that they need to find out, which is this sneaky bait, this, this sneaky type of energy. So they could be, you know, just going behind the scenes, trying to find out information about you, uh, maybe your past, uh, history, just making sure that, you know, things that you're saying add up uh they they're true that type of thing you know when people are like this you know you know that they don't kind of they take relationships seriously in in the sense of once they open up then you know you're revealed you, you know what's revealed to you is a whole load of uh you know compassion understanding loyalty reliability love you know caring all of that because they don't often do that it's kind of like a privilege type of thing where with you, you're wanted, you're wanting an opportunity to create something new. Again, we're going back to this not willing to take a risk. That's your challenge. That's big. That being in your challenge means that, I mean, I've already explained that to you, but it ties into the focusing now on, it's like, I want, I want to create, I want an opportunity for me to have the type of relationship that I want. Because I feel like maybe for some of you, you're wanting kids, you're wanting to start a family, uh, you wanting to maybe get married that type of thing you again and i'm not telling you off but i'm just saying things to make you aware that everyone has first of all a different attachment styles but also people have their experiences that they come with so this person could have experienced just open up maybe too soon to someone then take an advantage just based on their qualities maybe based on what they feel they have in terms of resources you know, and it, and then I get it. And not to say that you haven't tried with this person, you've tried communicating, you know, and of course, if you're facing a brick wall, then sometimes you feel, I get why you feel like you have no choice, but to maybe walk away. But I feel like definitely you could be missing out on something, something really good here with this person. If you've had that patience. So, you know, who knows? So let's move in. Let's continue this in part two of the reading. Let's see where this moves to. Uh, link should be shown up on the screen as we speak, guys. So click on that. Other than that, have a beautiful day and I shall see you next week.